Ryan Williams here with the Williams & Martin Real Estate team in the beautiful Comox Valley. This is a market update for November 2022. Any stats we discuss are from October 2022. But before we get into that, what are we doing here at the Williams & Martin Real Estate team this time of year? Market's changing, things are slowing down a little bit. Well, some of the things we're doing. One, for those of you that are lucky enough to be clients, and past referral friends and all that, we are working on a uh, movie invite that's coming out in the mail. We've already sent an email to you uh, for December 3rd, Strange World. Uh, we are also, these should be arriving in the mail for you soon. It is the 2023 calendars. Lots of good feedback from people over the years on, on the calendars. I know it's a little old school and there's some people that use electronic calendars, things like that, but they have some great photos and they are very useful. Other than that, reading through the uh, Western Investor the other day, some uh, interesting things. The top five places to invest in Western Canada. Two of them are here on the island. It is not Comox, but uh, Calgary and East Vancouver are number one and two. Bamfield is number three. And the main reason for Bamfield, which is the biggest surprise reading this, is because they are paving the highway between... Not sure, I think they're coming down from Port Alberni. And so Bamfield is like a Tofino, uh, nice beaches. It's right at the tip of the West Coast Trail. Um, kind of a resource-based community up to now, but um, yeah, they say the prices jumped in 2022, not just COVID, but when they announced the paving of this road. So that's the most interesting tidbit of the reading there. And Nanaimo was number five. Comox Valley in my heart would be number one, but uh, that's, that's it. So that is the update for 2000 and, or for November 2023, and we will see you in December and look for the analytics coming up next. Hello, Ryan here with the most interesting, exciting part of the market update. It is the analytics, the numbers, the charts, the numbers that do not lie. So we are looking at October 2022. We will compare it a little bit to October 2021, but I'm also going to look at March and July, what the, what the market was doing at those dates, just as a reminder to see where things are these days. So first and foremost, single family attached homes. Units sold 38 this year compared to 68 last year, so we're down 44% in sales. 81 listings compared to, to, compared to 60 last year, so we're up 30% in number of listings that came on the market during that month. On the market, active listings 211 compared to 68 last year. So you can see why there's a lot more supply and demand and why the prices are adjusting accordingly. Now the average sale price in October, get this, was $717,000 for the single family home. 872 last year, so 150,000 less than last year, 155. Um, and last month it was 820,000. So uh, we dropped 100,000 the average sale price, but that is only the sale price of the 38 homes that sold. So uh, that's the important thing to remember. It's just the homes that sold. Um, March, we had 87 units sell. July, we had 46. And then again, we just had 38. Average sale price in March, 968. 851 in July, 717 in October. Uh, the median price, we had 871000 in March, 805 in July, 682 here in, in October. Average sale, um, the sale price, the list price, March 104%, 98.5% in July, and 97% in October. And active listings on the market, 94 in March, 219 in July, and 211 in October. So few fewer people listing the property this time of year or sitting on the market this time of year. Uh, for condo market, we had compared to last year, we were down 74%. So seven this year, 27 last year. In March we had 25 sales and in July we had 17. Average sale price 392. Last year was 423. March was 385 and July was 504. So of the 17 in July, definitely pulled the sale prices up. Uh, the median price 428 last year, 375 in March, and 399 in July. And then average, uh, this list price, sell price to list price, 104% in March, 96% in July, 92% in October, and 102% last year. 
in active listings, 90 last year, 103 in July, and 23 in March. So a big difference in supply. And for the townhouse and patio homes, nine sales this year, 12 last year. Average sale price, 506 this year, 636 last year. Medium price was 531. Sale price, the list price was 97%. Last year was 101%. And we had 68 listings on the market this year compared to 35 last year. When we look at March, we had 18 sales compared to nine in October, 12 in July, 709,000 for the average sale price compared to 591 in July and 506 in October. Median sale price 728 in March, 557 in July and 531 in October and 106% of the list price was the sale price in March compared to 98% in July and 97% and then active listings we only had 17 in March for the patio homes and townhouses compared to 43 in July and 68 in October so lots of numbers there this this uh, market update sorry about that but it really does show the picture that things have changed quite a lot since March which we all know it's just giving um, buyers and sellers an idea out there uh, where things are at. We'll see you in December. All the best.